Hey guys, what's up? I am here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Tower of God, or you call Kami no To, or Sinwi Tapu on episode 9 out of the 12. This episode right here shows a nasty reality of what Bomb will have to face eventually, and maybe possibly more of that in the future. Well, he already faced it now, but he's not the type of guy to do it, I guess. But, you know, I guess that's just him. I don't know how he's going to overcome this, but it's not like everything will go the way you want it to. I'm pretty sure you guys might be thinking, uh, you're a little com you're a little confused. You're confusing all of us here. What are you talking about? Well, I'll get to that in just a moment. Okay, we have two of the um that was a scene with involving Endorshi having a betray that looked like she's beating up the two comrades that seem to be Possibly pathetic or maybe something that she could just pick off one one by one, you know I mean we we knew and was kind of a sneaky little fox or something that knows how to like um Rip people to shreds and you know the plan that she had in mind did not involve like working together, but involves some casualties possibly We have to it of course that we have to it that we get to know a little story about her too She mentions about being part of a family, but not but not in an explicit kind of way where, um, she was part of this family where she was one of the lower ranks. Eventually, she was always fed with low-graded low food, you know. But eventually, as time continues on, as she continues with the story, she will later on be that person to eat high-ranked-up food everywhere all to herself because she ended up betraying, tricking, and killing everyone of her own, um, selfish desire, you know. In other cases, she... And Dorshi was trying to tell Bomb, you gotta do whatever it takes. You gotta either you have to trick, kill, betray, whatever you want to do right now. It, it is to climb the tower, you know. Although Bomb understands this and he knows this from Rachel and understands it from Endorshi very much, he's not the kind of guy saying that I can't really do that. And that's why he took a blow for Endorshi that kind of like damaged him up a bit, but. Apparently, like, um, even though he does understand, he doesn't have the will to actually trick or betray people. This kind of ticks off Endorshi and tries to get him to understand otherwise, but Bomb's like, that's how I am and that's how I feel. I can't help it. I'm thinking in my mind, well, this guy's some kind of an ignorant, pure, go pure good person, but whatever the case may be is. But we also see a scene with involving, um, what you may call it, Hats himself having to take on the ranker, you know, and we have to it that he actually had a hard time But he thought like his comrades would help him out, but apparently they ditched him out This actually upsets the ranker and he beats up or possibly kills the two people that um, Betrayed that betrayed Hats because he had faith in them, you know, that's the that's something that Hats just finally realized too, etc But what gets what makes the situation worse right now is that like um um, what you may call it? Um, Ho himself ends up kidnapping Rachel and says, "You're gonna be a part of my plan to get Bomb out this tower." You know that kind of thing. Although, like um, Bomb realize, and then later, you know, Bomb realizes that Rachel, Rachel's and Michelle's light signal is gone missing, and we have to it that, like, um, despite what. Um, what Bomb thinks and understands, he's not, he's gonna, no matter what happens, he'll just protect Rachel or Michelle, whatever her name is. But apparently, apparently this is just a nasty way of, ha of handling things here and there. And we have to it that the Ranker ends up showing up in front of Ho that has Rachel as a hostage here and there. And he plans, and we have to it that Ho's true colors is revealed and realizes that he's been set up. Whoever put that letter in front of his door, etc., it's just like um, a way to bait him out in the open or possibly show his true colors. Eventually, we have to it that Bomb shows up where Rachel is being held hostage by Ho. And we have to it that um, Ho tells, tells Bomb to take out the quant or something. And eventually, Bomb decides to do... Bomb decides to do it without much hesitation, but we have to it that the Quant ends up using a technique on Bomb where he pours Shinzu into his body and tells him, You wanna start saving that girl? Try using Try using this technique on the guy who's having her hostage, you know? And we have to it that um 
that Rachel tries to get out of his grip and Hope will later on ends up stabbing um, Rachel whether if it was accident or intentional it really shocked the living hell out of him. Eventually Bomb will end up using the same technique that the Ranker used on him, used on Bomb and we have to it that the, the Ranker goes like what the hell he actually copied the Ranker's technique in a in just a ma in a couple of seconds what the hell is with this guy so we have to it that Rachel says her words to Bomb like why did you follow me I told you not to come and we have to it that she ends up fainting possibly from the wound she she's at and as for um the guy that was next to Rock you know. That quiet guy that looks like some kind of warrior of a, of a samurai old era or something. He ends up realizing something is wrong and all of a sudden he just disappears right off the bat or something, you know? I don't know what the case may be right now, but we have to it that we get to know about Ho himself, you know? Although Bomb tries to understand because he thought, he Bomb goes like, Yo, I thought you we were friends or something, why would you do something like this? And Ho's like, are you freaking serious, you don't even realize it yet? I did it all for me. I did it all to climb the tower and to stop you. And we get to know that Ho himself was actually a victim to someone where a victim where he lost everything, you know? Everyone that he cared about was all killed by some strong monster even though he had some kind of power to understand Shinzu, he was unable to actually protect them all. Eventually he ends up he ends up realizing that strength always wins, and before his own stupid dying moments, which he used his own knife to, like, take his own life, if anything, he en he en he ends up saying, I hate I hated you, Bond, or should I say, I hate you, Bomb, and then he ends up taking his own life, and then we have to it that Bomb is in great distress and saying, what the hell, what the hell's going on, why is this really happening? As for one of the ladies, which I don't really bother remembering her or even know, even think that she's even worth remembering. Sorry for being such a jerk, but that's how that's how I am as well, you know. Um, we have to it that um that lady ends up going to Ho and realizes that he's gone. Of course, like when the ranker tells Bond, you don't have time to cry over for this traitor right here, man. Although Bond hates hates what's go happening right now. We have to it that um, that Indoshi shows up with the with the sword that actually kind of gave her trouble. Well, well, she stole it after she. I'm pretty sure she, after murdering the two guys or something. But whatever the case may may be, we have to it that the that Indoshi is that it against the Rinka it. You know, and she ends up telling and. There's another piece of advice that Indoshi tells the bomb, you know? If you want to climb the tower, do it, do it your own way, I'll do it my way, but you gotta keep moving forward without regrets. I found someone I want to climb the tower with, but apparently we don't get along, but whatever the case may be, that is what it is. You should do things the way you want to, and I'll do things the way I do it, okay? That's the only thing how, how it is. You keep passing these tests, you expect you'll taste more pain like you did today no matter what you got it so you can't have everything you want that's the reality of it the day comes or always come when they lose something so you gotta keep moving forward so you don't regret it you got it so so that's the last piece of advice she gives to bomb before she goes into battle with like um with the ranker redhead you know but we have to it that bomb decides to help um endorse and decides to help endorse you out anyway, despite everything she she has done and all that. I guess Bomb is what he is, man. I mean, we have to it that the lady ends up talking to Ho even though he he's dead and decides to do one final act for him and clo closes his eyes, you know. And she does have some remorses and regrets, you know. She never had a chance to stand up in, in certain times in life, you know. And eventually we have to it. It looks like um, the Ranker won by stealing Endorshi's um, badge. But apparently that um, was actually a trick. She actually walked out to him and showed that she actually had her own badge somewhere else. And she actually tricked him to say that her badge was right here. And... Of course, she fainted. She made a feint where she st still the Rinker's badge, no problem, and they end up winning, you know? <laughs> pretty, pretty funny stuff. But we also see to it that the episode ends with uh, many people who are in casualties or possibly in major bad injuries right now, and that Team B won, and Bomb decides to go check up on Rot, decides to go check up on Rot Hill at night. 
the time that she's resting in her rooms, and the episode ends up there. Yeah, forget me if the recap becomes a li li little bit long. But as for Bomb Man, I mean, I love you, man. You got, you got, you got some nice ignorant qualities that makes me like you. Even though you have a nice, good heart, where he can't betray anyone, it will come to a time where you're gonna have to go, go on that route. And if you don't, well, be prepared to die, man. I mean, I don't mean to be a nasty jerk on your butt, man, but you got, you got a couple choices. Either you do whatever it takes to climb the tower, or just do. Do it your way and possibly face a lot of casualties. But with Endorsey's tips of advice of what to do to climb the tower, but also do it your way. Do do what you think is best for you. But sometimes things are never gonna go through the way you want it to. As Endorsey says, you can't you can't always have everything, and you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, that's the reality of it, and that's how certain things in humanity is anyway. So, bomb, I love you, man. But do what. Just be very careful, man. Keep your guard up. It's nice to have good cop. It's really hard to have good loyal comrades or pe people nowadays, knowing that we all know how that is throughout each damn time, you know. But aside from that, good luck, man. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. So I'm out for zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. All right? Peace out. Bye bye. Toot toot.